You finally get married after all those years of waiting. What should you do? Rejoice. Someone's rejoicing in faith over there. <laughs> after waiting all those years for that baby and God blesses you with that baby, what should you do? Rejoice. When the doctor comes back with a report that guess what? That cancer, it's not going to kill you. You're going to live. What should you do? When you finally get that house you've been praying about and you've been saving all that money about, what should you do? You should what? Rejoice. But he doesn't just say rejoice sometimes. He says rejoice always. So when you lose your job, what should you do? When your marriage is struggling and you don't know if it's going to work out, what should you do? When you're not sure what your kids are up to and what they're doing, what should you do? When you don't have enough money to pay the mortgage anymore, what should you do? See, see Paul's writing a prescription that we bypass. And he said, I want you to program into your life. I want you to learn the right reaction. Learn to rejoice always, always rejoice. God, always I'm going to give you praise. God, I'm always going to thank you. Why? Because there's a promise on the other side of you rejoicing. Paul, he says, don't be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Rejoice, and then with thanksgiving, God, this is what I need. God, this is what I'm going through. God, I'm feeling this. God, I'm anxious about that. God, I'm going through depression over here. God, I keep getting worried about that. I'm bringing this to you. But here comes the promise. The promise that Paul says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I love this. The peace of God. Someone say peace. peace. You know that you don't need peace when things are going good. You don't need peace in promotion. You don't need peace on the mountaintop. The very fact that God promises you peace is an indication that he's letting you know that when life gets turbulent and when life gets chaotic, he will be there with you and he can supply for you a fulfillment and a comfort like nobody else. When you rejoice, peace comes upon your life. I'm going to worship myself happy. But you say, but Rich, you don't understand my situation, and you don't know about my circumstance, and you don't understand how bad it is. This is not just like some little thing that can be over in a day. This thing's big. This thing's crazy. I've been seeing doctors for years, and I've been talking to people for years, and it's so big, and it's so great, and I'm so tired. I love the Bible. Because it doesn't just say peace. No, it says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. Transcends mean that it, it, it trumps over, it, it jumps over, it gets through. Meaning your problem, it might not make any sense. And your pain might not make any sense. And your circumstance might be illogical. And your challenge might be too great for man. But we serve a God who promises you peace that transcends all understanding. Peace that doesn't make any sense. Illogical peace. Peace that doesn't make sense in the head.